I'm Jim Monahan from the WDHA Morning Jolt. I have Bobby from Guitar Repair Services with us. They sponsor the 7 o'clock Guitar Shred each weekday morning at 7 a.m. on the Jolt. And today, Bobby, I want to ask you, this is a uh, Martin D1220. Uh, Martin does not make this anymore. They haven't made it probably in at least 35 it's too years. too bad. <laughs> it is, because I love this guitar. Yeah. To me, this was the best 12 string that yeah. Martin has ever made. Um, but what I wanted to ask you is, why is this guitar so darn hard to tune? Well, you have twice the strings and twice the problems, basically, is what it comes to. Uh, just like we were talking about the six string guitars, that it's a general compensation when they compensate guitars for intonation. Uh, they do the same thing with a 12 string. It's no different. So really, you have, uh, not only is a six string not perfectly in tune, a 12 string will be worse because you have twice the amount of strings. For me, it's the two B strings yeah. that give me yeah. the most trouble. I can get one chord mm -hmm. that sounds like it's in tune, and so then that those, one sounds better. And those, those are going to sound out of tune. And it's the D chord that I, that I yeah. notice it the most. Yeah. I can get a lot of other chords in tune, I, yeah. but I get to that D. Why is that? You can play different chords. Everything could be in tune when you're tuning the guitar with open strings. Uh, it could be, you could have a tuner and it, the tuner says everything's fine. Then you go and you play an A chord. A chord sound, sounds fine. Then you go and you play a D chord. It doesn't sound right. Well, you just changed you just change the intonation of the guitar just by fingering different, a different position on, on the fretboard. And when they start, when they make a saddle, even a compensate, a general compensation of a saddle, you're committed from, from, the, from the low E to the high E. You only have a certain amount of distance to go with a saddle to do the job that you need to do. And you can have all the top strings in tune, and then as you get to the bottom, a couple strings down the bottom aren't you, it just, just doesn't sound right. And then all of a sudden you get to the E string down the bottom and it sounds good again. Well, that's because, you know, you're committed when they, when they do the, the compensation of the saddle. You only have that certain distance that you have to work with. And you can, you're trying to get all the strings in tune and intonated correctly. But there's always going to be those one or two strings that just fall short of the whole intonation process. Because there's just nowhere to go. Be, uh, uh, other, it seems like every time you try to correct a string, you're going to make the other ones worse. Yeah, you know absolutely. What I mean? that's, that's oh, yeah. Base. So basically, it's just a trade-off of um, having five of the six strings sound perfectly in tune and the other one is just a little hair off. I've even noticed that when trying to tune the two B strings, yeah. I can't get them exact. Yeah. Yeah. One's a little sharper or flatter yeah. than the other. There is a way. Um, there is a way for acoustic guitars to compensate each individual string. You can actually make a saddle with compensating each individual string of, the, of an acoustic guitar. And you can do it on a 12? Yes. Must be it's a very expensive. I bet it is. It's very expensive to do because it's, you, have to, you have to mathematically figure out where the contact point should be on the saddle for each individual string. So a 12 string, you're, you're, cal you're doing 12 calculations because you're working from the, the, the front of the nut, which isn't moving, it is where it is. The only thing you can do to compensate for intonation to make it sound in tune better is to start messing with the saddle. And with, it's the contact point. Where is the string resting when it touches the saddle? And as you change that point, it could be a sixteenth of an inch or less, forward or back, for each string, all of a sudden the guitar sounds in tune. Mm -hmm. You know? But like I said before, there's a lot of factors. All that can be done. All that can be done, and then if the guitar dries out and it shrinks, it's back to square one again. Now, I generally keep this guitar tuned down a step. Right. Should I do that? I know there's some worry about how much tension there is mm -hmm. on the strings. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. But well, I could tune it up to, to pitch and I wouldn't be putting too much pressure on, no, on the bridge. No, but with that in mind, as you go out of standard tuning, your intonation is going to suffer. Mm -hmm. Because every string on a guitar has a tension point. There's a certain amount of tension on every string on a guitar. And as you change string gauge, that tension changes. And that tension has to do with intonation. So 
If you have a guitar and you keep switching between multiple gauges of strings and mul multiple manufacturers, because now the, the composition of what they made the string out of has changed even, all those things are gonna factor into whether the guitar sounds in tune or not. It can sound in tune when you have a certain set of strings on it, then you go to a higher gauge string, now all of a sudden it doesn't sound in tune anymore because the string gauge actually changed the intonation. If you, if you don't know whether or not your guitar is dried out, run your hands along the sides of the neck, just on the sides of the frets, up and down. If you feel frets sticking out of the neck, your guitar is real dry. Is it dry? No, that's actually good. You'll, you'll actually feel, they'll feel like razors going up and down. You'll feel the tips of the frets sticking out. Metal doesn't shrink, the fretboard will. If the fretboard is dry, it'll shrink. The frets will stay the same length, the wood will shrink, and the frets will start sticking out. So immediately you know that the guitar is dried out. This guy really knows what he's talking about. There's a lot of info on Bobby's website at helpmyguitar.com. Guitar Repair Services, Bobby is sponsored here at 105.5 WDHA on the Morning Jolt. Thanks again for coming in. <laughs>